Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben with a WBZ News update. Our top stories, day three of the Karen Reed trial just wrapped up with more of the witnesses who responded to the scene the day Boston police officer John O'Keefe died. The testimony largely focused on what Reed said at the scene and what people did to try to save John O'Keefe. At that point, I asked her if uh, there had been any significant trauma that happened before this. What if anything did she say? So she said, I hit him. She repeated it. Um, there was a woman standing across from her who I believe at that point said, uh, you're hysterical, you need to calm down. You're hysterical. She repeated, I hit him. And there was a police officer who was in that vicinity kind of with us who replied, you what? She repeated it one more time. Um, and that officer then signaled to somebody, get Goody down here, which I'm assuming would be the, the sergeant. Now, we heard from a total of four witnesses today before court officially ended. Tomorrow, the jury will visit the scene where Officer O'Keefe died. We have some new information on breaking news in Lemonster. We now know a woman is facing assault and battery charges for allegedly shooting her boyfriend in the head. Court paperwork shows that the woman, Jamie Parker, called 911 last night to report a shooting after a fight with her boyfriend. When police arrived, they found Jeffrey Carr dead on the kitchen floor. Police believe the couple had an argument and Parker ran to a bedroom, grabbed a gun, and shot Carr. This afternoon, memorial services will begin for a Bill Ricca police officer. Sergeant Ian Taylor was working a detail at a construction site when an excavator hit and killed him last week. A public visitation starts at 3 at the Cotadella Funeral Home in Methuen. A funeral is set for tomorrow in Lawrence. Sergeant Taylor was a 21-year veteran of the department. Well, it certainly feels like spring across New England today. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jason Michael. Well, Paula, here we go. We're pressing on the gas. Yet another day here of temperatures climbing, not just in the 60s, but we have a really good chance of making it into the 70s later on today as well. So look at our hour by hour forecast. Yes, we still have some clouds hoisted in points west of the town right now, still dealing with an area of low pressure off to the east. But look at this. Once we get power about the uh, noon hour today, we'll have some breaks in the clouds, and that is the precise moment where the 60s will start to manifest all across the area. Even if we get a little bit of clearing here, I think we'll likely have a good chance of making it into the 70s and the 70s are not that far away. Already in western Pennsylvania right now, New York City already at 60 degrees and more of the 60s are going to be racing up the I-95 corridor. There's our warming sector. There's our colder sector. And again, notice there's not much distance between them. That's our next frontal boundary arriving after the warm front later on this evening where we are likely to have a little bit of an uptick in terms of our rain chances. Not widespread and certainly not going to be that much. I think if we get any sort of rain and maybe even a rumble or two, it's likely going to be in the Merrimack Valley and maybe scrape the P-Town area. So a south wind will turn more southwesterly later on this afternoon. And again, that southwest wind will likely hoist our temperatures up into the upper 60s. Well, we will likely land for the drive at 5. So a mild start this morning, giving way to some 70s and certainly a lot of 70s west and also central mass. Modest front moves in later on this evening. We'll likely have some spraying of some of the isolated showers. Algens will remain high and I'll focus on that coming up in the full forecast. But as far as Cinco de Mayo celebrations on Sunday, there's a good chance we'll at least have some moderate rain chances moving back in the forecast. I'll fill you in on those juicy details coming up in a little bit. Paula? Jason, I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.